Alliance Wars Force Close situation is under investigation. Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome to a brand new video. So you might be wondering, uh, this all broke yesterday, Rich. Why you, shouldn't you have covered this yesterday? Yeah, I'm, I'm busy at the moment. I'm trying to make as many videos as possible to cover whilst I'm going to be away. So I, I've got lots of videos. I've got to make a video about the side quests, uh, Power Gauntlet, and I think a couple more about stuff this month. And then we got Spring of Sorrow, uh, and then I'm gone. Uh, so I'm trying as much as possible to get things done, but um, we'll have to see. But in any case, uh, get into um, the coverage. So 228 says, So I've heard reports through line of people force quitting during a war fight and not getting penalised. Didn't quite believe it, you know, how these things are. Didn't plan on saying anything either, but then I saw this during last war. Against Bullseye Mini, they already died once, went in again. Timer went from 3.45, then back to 5 during the second attempt. Okay, I know timers and Alliance Wars can be screwy. So we clicked on the opponent's champs and saw two people in the fight at the same time. Screenshot is below. Then the same cycle again. Timer goes down and then resets to people in the fight. Uh, mind you, we lost this war by two um, uh, attack bonuses. I think what AB was. I was about to say absorbing ban. Uh, well, might be for some of these people. Can someone explain this? Uh, seems awful big coincidence. Got a vid to prove it as well. And uh, there's an image there. Now look, it could be some, it could be something legit. But of course, it's something to raise, especially if, um, if yeah, like um, mm, not too great. Uh, so gamer says there's a bug right now. It even, it's even in incursions where you have 100% HP back if you do it. Yeah, I think I've actually, I think I've actually by chance done this. I haven't gone out of my way to do this as a kind of, uh, you know, exploit. I think I was just returned back into a fight. And I was like, my health's 100%. I think something happened, but I can't remember what it was. But yeah, I returned back and my health was 100%. I didn't do it after that. Um, I've not done my Sector 6 run or my Sector 7 run yet. I've done a Sector 5 run, and that was where I found out um, that it was a thing. Uh, it does right now. You can even do it in incursions, which I think is what I read above. Uh, you can get banned for exploit bugs in-game. And... Uh, I don't know if Caban will handle it, to be honest. They have answered against us, but I don't think they'll handle it. In a way that, you know, if, if Caban were handling it, then they would go, okay, well, if we look back over the data, we can pinpoint that alliances, maybe like the ones that have been mentioned, maybe in other alliances have done this, and then there'll be, I wouldn't know if it'll be bans, but maybe something that affects the points take home or maybe instead of it registering as a, a loss then awarded points will go up or people that were awarded points using this method will go down which could obviously affect the season side of things and it could be a bigger problem but look th that's that's just me kind of commenting on what kabam have done in the past what they could do in the future and and such like Anyway, a bit more insight. Um, somebody says, yeah, the people in fight at the same time. And like, no, probably part of a long issue related to sync between. That's the other thing. It's the sync. Those doing uh, attack and observing the map. Could be it. Yep. Not to throw it to the point of like, yes, no, maybe, don't know. That's the thing, isn't it? They could be two registered at the same time. But it might be just one just surveying the fight. I think I've had it before. Like, a good example is when... I think it was I was surveying an alliance quest fight the other day and somebody kind of came in and, and did did the fight but I wasn't out of the screen. To somebody looking on that, it might be a case it looks like this. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know. But you have to hypothesize some um some things. Also, loading into Alliance Wars is really slow for some reason. I don't know why. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, as an officer in that, that alliance, I'd like to point out a few th things out. The fighting question is one we got zero um, attack bonus on. The fact that crashing might not cause attack bonus loss is good to know. Had no idea, so thanks. We got zero attack bonus on that fight because we mathematically won the war once I soloed your uh, battlegrounds... Uh, no, the battlegrounds... Um, yeah, no, not Battlegrounds, what am I saying? Battle Group 3, Killmonger on Stunning Reflection. Easy fight, appreciate ya. I had sync issues when monitoring the fights by your players too. Fairly common issue. Um, Alright, 
It's like someone's acting Barry Big Bollocks here. And for the record, point two is clearly sarcasm. We do not condone cheating of any kind, and we are currently laughing on our planning call at your very notion. Jesus Christ, have a day off. But people are like that. Um, we got, we got, people are like that. But then if Caban were to run any kind of like, I don't know, um, punishment, then it'd be interesting what it digs up. Anyway, uh, Kabam Jacks. Sometimes things are, people are funny, aren't they? The game team is aware of this bug and are actively investigating. When we have more information to share, we'll, we will use this thread. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's exactly what someone using an exploit would say. Oh, this is good. This just goes. The problem is, if it goes to people having a bit of a a Barney, having a little conflab, having a little bit of a kind of like um, you know fallout. This thread, of course, will be um, well, will be closed down. But I, I don't, I don't think that people are like that. Uh, this is definitely ewing, uh, ewing a lot. Uh, ewing looked it. Well, this is definitely being looked at. Sorry. Uh, hopefully, they find a way to penalise the abusers, providing they know the right ones. Because some people are claiming they played absolutely fine. Uh, I saw a post on Reddit this morning that the force quit exploit was finally patched in solo modes. This must be an intended impact uh, of that fix. There you go. A bit more information. Um, oh, hang on. What have we got here? Uh, while, one, while, while at least one other brand new thread about this today was already merged into here, but below is another thread last night discussing it. Just FYI, not merged yet. Uh, still confused by that person trying to dispute that this... that and that this and say it was not actually identifying a new bug because their particular case had already lost all the, the attack bonus for one case of what people were saying about this when it was clearly being mentioned by others here and there uh, and that could bypass losing bonus look um yeah then there's falling out <laughs> um, oh dear it's just getting i don't know like this should be then up to kabam at the end of the day, to spot this out and go, hey, cheating, maybe, um, doing this, problem, possibly, what they plan to do with it, don't know. And this, I think I'll leave this on this this particular point, because I think this is a great point. Uh, war has so many moving parts, all it takes is one bug that starts a cascade ending in either major compensation or a cancelled season. What's the fix on something like this? And that's that's a very relevant point, isn't it? That I, through no fault of Kabam's, they may have gone like... Well, Kabam are at fault for everything. But if they kind of make one small change to something, it's the impact that it does to the mode that they might not even know there's a bug or an unintended exploit or something that then if people are taking advantage of, losing because of issue then it does it does cause an issue for the entirety of the season and could uh, then affect like one loss depending on where you are up in the game top tier lower tier it could cost you placements uh and uh yeah could be a problem like who's to know like with the last few wars that you faced have you theoretically been cheated on and not known about it and I'm sure those alliances will say, like, nah, 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 didn't cheat, whatever. But cheating would be a part of this particular, like, exploit to do this. So, yeah, I, I don't know what the, the, obviously, the end game to this, what Kabam have to do, I don't know, because it's like, it, it will always happen. You can always find the amount of wars. If you count, you you if you count the amount of wars that have worked effectively for the last 49... Since it very since the very beginning, it's very rare to find a season that's just worked without incident or issue. Whether or not it's no fault of Kabam's, Kabam putting a node in, Kabam doing this, Kabam doing that, a bug that Kabam didn't even know about. So yeah, that's always the problem with Alliance War. You know. So regardless of hearsay at the moment, how would you like to see Kabam handle something like this? Would it be to investigate? Who deserves to be punished? Or 
keep things running as they are with the fix in place. What are your thoughts on it? Put it in the comments because this is uh, apart from the hearsay stuff. They they may have they may not have cheat. Let command run the info, the data, and let them issue out the punishments. And um, hopefully, there's a positive result to this. Anyway, have a great day and check out some other content located on the screen right now.